and the firm is going to try to seek that, si that uh, size uh, that will minimize uh, the balance of these two uh, cost considerations. Now we can um, uh, show that by simply considering uh, what the total cost will be uh, when, when the size of the firm is, is S1. It will have an internal uh, coordinating cost equal to that because there are few principal agency problems. Uh, it will have an external coordinating cost equal to that, or it will have a uh, total cost of, from these two uh, cost sources uh, equal to this point here. At this point, uh, S2, it will have a coordinating cost, total coordinating cost equal uh, to that. We go over here, and we observe that uh, external coordinating costs has gotten very low, but the internal coordinating costs, the principal agency problems, have begun to mount, which means you have a curve that looks like that. Moral of the story is that the total cost uh, curve can look something uh, like that, and I haven't quite drawn it uh, carefully, but the, but the exact shape uh, position of the curve is not nearly as important as, as the overall shape. Because what this can do is um, tell us that the optimal size firm uh, should, in fact, be uh, S3. Or maybe I should put it right there where you can more properly see it. Now, as it happens, the minimum cost curve is right above the intersection of this red line and blue line. It need not uh, be that way. It just depends upon the nature of these uh, two curves. Now, um, these, these curves can be useful to uh, consider uh, changes in the underlying cost uh, functions. Let's suppose that the uh, internal coordinating costs uh, go down. Uh, this can be because of, um, uh, of new technology. That is, uh, we've developed computer uh, monitoring uh, systems that allow for producers to uh, keep track of what their employees are doing, and hence they can, um, they can exact penalties on those people who are shirking or misusing and abusing uh, resources. If the internal coordinating costs go down, this curve would move in that direction. If the internal coordinating costs go down, and again, these costs may go down because the firm has found a more efficient way of, of uh, paying workers too. They, they pay for performance, and as a consequence, they don't have to incur as many monitoring costs. Well, if this curve shifts to the right, then the overall size of the firm uh, can uh, shift uh, to the right. That is, lowering internal coordinating costs can uh, increase the size of the firm. By the same token, um, you can have improvements in the cost of, of engaging in market activities. If technology allows for uh, engaging in market uh, transactions with people around the world at, at a lower cost, then this cost curve uh, can go down. And if this cost curve uh, goes down, then the overall summation of these curves can move to something like that. The net result is uh, that the size of the firm uh, contracts. In this case, the um, size of the firm uh, goes down because of forces outside of the firm. Sometimes we think that firms contract only because uh, they're doing uh, poorly. Uh, but it could very well be uh, that uh, they're just taking advantage of, of um, improvements in, in market transactions. Now, one of the uh, issues that um, uh, one of my colleagues, Vijay Gurbaksani, has, has taken up is what is the impact of tele uh, com communications and computer uh, technology uh, on the size of the firm. Well, telecommunication and computer technology, you can imagine, one, it, it improves the ability of people to monitor. Uh, when checkout clerks uh, scanned items uh, in grocery stores, they are simply sending that information to monitors who can tell uh, which checkout clerks are, are shirking. Uh, computer uh, Telecommunication technology can also make it easier for firms to engage in um, uh, transactions with people around, around the world. Uh, computer technology allows for firms that need transportation systems to simply pull up 
uh, on their computer screens alternative bids for, say, uh, trucking to uh, between two, uh, two points. Well, the moral of the story is if you have, a, have the blue line moving to the right, the red line moving uh, down and to the left, uh, the size of the firm can go up or it can go down, depending upon the relative forces of telecommunication uh, tech, technology. What uh, my colleague Vijay uh, Gurbakhsani uh, and other economists around the country have, have uh, tended to find, uh, however, is that uh, telecommunication and computer technologies have tended, on balance, uh, to lead to smaller uh, size uh, firms. This doesn't mean that all firms uh, should be expected uh, to uh, downsize or to become smaller uh, across the board. Uh, it just simply means that the dominant uh, impact of uh, computer and telecommunication technology has reduced the uh, average size of the firm, which means uh, that it has reduced uh, a, a disproportionate number, the size of a disproportionate number of firms. Uh, thank you uh, very much.